हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप कुमारी अ बोर्ड सर्टिफाइड डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट पुणे सिंस लास्ट 15 इयर्स आई ट्रूली बिलीव इन गिविंग लेस मेडिकेशन वेन एवर फिजिबल आई ऑल्सो बिलीव इन फाइंडिंग द रूट कॉज ऑफ अ डिजीज एंड देन ट्रीटिंग इट फ्रॉम देयर रेदर देन जस्ट ट्रीटिंग द सिम्टम्स हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप कुमारी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट विटिलिगो विटिलिगो इज अ डिसऑर्डर ऑफ पिगमेंटेशन और डिसपिगमेंटेशन एंड इट इज़ नोन बाय वेरियस नेम्स सच एज ल्यूकोडामा सफ़ेद दाग वाइट स्पॉट्स कोड विटिलिगो एज सच इज़ नॉट अ डिजीज एंटिटी इन द सेंस दैट द पेशेंट हु हैज़ विटिलिगो does not have any symptoms apart from the cosmetic appearance in that sense vitiligo is only treated because of the social stigmatization attached with it and the patient's quality of life getting affected because of the occurrence of these lesions vitiligo commonly happens as a combination of multiple factors what we know as genetic factors immune factors and external trigger factors such as certain chemicals trauma or friction induced hypopigmentation when we say genetic factors we also know that genetically vitiligo can be transferred from one generation to other and the probability of a person getting vitiligo in the next generation is slightly higher if the previous generation had vitiligo compared to a person who does not have any such familial history talking about immune factors vitiligo is mainly a autoimmune phenomena wherein our own immunity or t cells destroy our colored cells leading to a localized or generalized loss of pigmentation or what we call as melanocytes in certain areas in our skin melanocytes or colored cells are present one in one is to 32 ratio meaning after every 32 normal colored cells or normal clear cells we have one color giving cell or melanocyte in vitiligo this ratio gets disturbed when the ratio is changing and we are still having melanocytes we see an entity called as pre vitiligo in our skin meaning in that area colored cells are still there but they are much less in the proportion so we see hypopigmented patches these can be present at the beginning of vitiligo disease or they can also be present at the edges of the already existing lesions when we see multicolored patches such as central complete depigmentation on edges slight hypopigmentation and then normal skin we call it as trichrome vitiligo beyond a certain point autoimmune phenomena which are destroying our colored cells lead to complete abolishment or complete destruction of melanocytes leading to completely white spots these white spots then called as vitiligo or leucoderma this leucoderma if it is happening because of external trigger factors such as contact with certain chemicals leather kind of footwear or patient people who are working in chemical industries and then they are developing it on hands or contact areas of chemicals it is called as chemical leucoderma chemical leucoderma if it is happening because of repeated exposure then it is difficult to treat but if it was one single episode of chemical leucoderma a person having accidental spillage of some chemicals person having burns and then developing depigmentation the areas or the treatment of these hypopigmented patches becomes easy and fast the most common impact of vitiligo which we see as dermatologist in our clinic is when a person or the entire family comes with the suspicion of vitiligo the first question or the first doubt in the mind of the person is is it vitiligo and then we take the help of certain analysis systems such as wood's light dermatoscopy to detect whether it is vitiligo or it is just some simple hypopigmented patches which have happened 
as a result of mild fungal infection such as in children or mild trauma or friction induced trauma in adults such as in cases of where footwear irritation has led to depigmentation of the skin the next question faced by the family doctor and the patient is why it has happened to me and the question becomes difficult to answer especially if it is happening in a child for the first time in the family without any preceding history of trauma in those areas as i have already told you it is a combination of multiple factors and apart from the genetic factors the autoimmunity plays a lot of role children who are having atopic dermatitis repeated severe ap- atopic dermatitis they are more prone to getting it however patients who have family history are at significant risk once the diagnosis of vitiligo has been made there are multiple efforts made to make sure that the patient's psychosocial profile or the quality of life does not get impacted because of just occurrence of these white patches so if you are someone who is watching this video because you have been recently diagnosed with vitiligo please let me make some things clear to you first and foremost in vitiligo it is only the skin color which gets affected none of the protective functions of our skin gets hampered and the entire sensation of touch pain perception pressure temperature remain normal in those areas and it is just a malfunction or absence of the color over that area also it is important to seek professional help if you feel depressed because of the presence or diagnosis of vitiligo vitiligo can have a great social impact on the person's lifestyle the next most common query patients or the patient's family would be asking us is how long it would take to get vitiligo treated there are certain parameters which we use to determine whether this particular type or this particular patient would heal fast or would take time meaning stubborn or easily treatable types of vitiligo so when we see vitiligo happening for the first time in small areas as a result of direct trauma it heals fast and the repigmentation or reappearance of the color back to normal skin is quite fast people having vitiligo in areas of skin where the skin is very thin such as eyelids face neck also respond very well and get tre- off treatment faster as a result of good improvement or complete repigmentation of the vitiligo spots certain types are more stubborn and require long term treatment these types are what we call as acrofacial or lip and tip vitiligo wherein we are seeing vitiligo on the lips and tips also vitiligo which we see involving more than 10% body part or body surface area vitiligo which is there as a result of familial tendency happens in old age is also associated with other autoimmune diseases such as thyroid other rheumatoid arthritis they tend to take time to respond and require long term treatment 